Alright guys, welcome back to more of The Walking Dead. Uh, we have seen this part in the in the last episode, but it's, you know, a few seconds worth of backtrack. So I thought I'd just leave it in. I'm guessing I'm just going to follow Clementine. So hopefully that's the case. Um, things will get a bit more surprising for me now, um, because I remember seeing all that stuff and doing all that stuff on the on the Mac. Uh, just make sure it worked and whatnot, and that's when I decided, no, I'm not going to record on this on this piece, on this uh, computer. I'm never getting home to mom at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get through this, shall we? What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Oh. I won't leave you alone. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Yeah, it does sound like a good idea. Because this place hey, would not be safe. Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Uh, ooh, we're looking for help. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us? It's probably a good idea. And we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family. Why would he think that it he's... should be safer there? I'm not a dad. I'm just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone. Yeah, I That's was gonna way. lie to him. I wasn't. I'm not a babysitter. Stick. What do you want to do? I. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Yeah, let's leave quick. Let's go. Yeah, how do we how are we pushing this? Quick time? Nope. Just gonna click it. Push it again. Ah, oh, Clem's gonna help. Oh god, drive. <laughs> that would not Just be some fun. guy? Seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Why oh, thank you, good sir. I've forgotten his name. I read the chat. I don't remember the other guy. Is it Davey? Maybe? Clementine Lee and Chet. But somehow I don't think I'm gonna have to remember anybody else's name. Well many names. This place doesn't seem that secure, to be honest. I wouldn't trust it for a second. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. You seem like nice people. You seem like very nice people. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. <laughs> I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Uh, well, we need a place we to stay. Need a place to stay. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, <laughs> just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Okay, then. 
Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. Uh. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. He's gonna interrogate me, isn't he? Yeah. This is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Uh. Uh. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Um. Uh. <laughs> I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who were you with? The girl. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. Mm. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. And we're done here. Everyone thinks she's my I fucking daughter. Your name, darling. I don't mean to be Clementine. racist, but she's yeah, white and he's he's an African American guy. Um, looking after her until we uh, find the parents. Hey, Dad. No, so I'm thinking first thing they, tomorrow we got to reinforce the fence no. around the farm. <laughs> that doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is. Mm. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Oh, shit. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Uh. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Well, hopefully you can walk properly like a normal human being now. swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. That sounds like a funny we'll joke. clean it, redress ha, it. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, <laughs> that'd be perfect. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right then. Uh, uh, I don't know what to make of that guy. I feel like he's just gonna drill me. It smells like. <laughs> I know what it smells like. <laughs> Duty. Duty. I missed my mom and dad. I bet. Clint. How far is Savannah? Oh, he's down. Time moment's gonna be really sad. Oh, okay. Don't all be really sad, please. Please. I love you, baby. <laughs> What's going on there? Yeah. Okay. Hey, get up. <sighs> okay. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. They sleep. Everyone. Tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. <laughs> That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Uh. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. 
Like water off a duck's back, you know? Okay. That's a valuable treat, but That's cool. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Okay, cool. Uh. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Very old Well, we should get to work. Name. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I have a feeling that's not going to be a good idea. I don't believe I can for a keep second an eye on your little that's going to be a good idea. Porch. We can visit. Um, I'm guessing I'm going to have to chat to everyone around here. Chat to you guys. What do you guys need? Hey there, girls. Maybe? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it, it that you do? Useful to have her. I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Mm. Yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Um... You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see it people so eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Um... How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just... just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Try to pick her accent. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Yeah. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back yeah, in why are you okay. living in, in um, you know, constant survival mode? I mean, it's got to be difficult, right? It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Very cool. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Um. So what's your family's plan? to check this out. Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and dolphin? paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Um, How's your son doing? I don't really like the kid, but... Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. That's a good way to be. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea. No kids. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. I don't understand what the no, uh, the I don't know option was for. I don't know if I have kids. Like, um, uh, let's have a look. 
One thing I will say, the cameras may get a bit annoying, uh, like the camera camera views and angles and stuff, but it seems, it, this, this is, I, I'm really interested in this. I don't really want to talk to that little shit, but okay. How you doing, Doc? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Oh, it's smack him. Uh, <laughs> Sean's still working on that fence. Yeah, he is. Why don't you talk to him? <laughs> hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Cool. Do I have to do anything here? Like, quick time thing? My dad doesn't know how it? bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes and pull the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh, yeah, it's over. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um. Well, not too close with my family. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to say there. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. There was a hammer sound, but no one was actually no hitting problem, anything. Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Um, yep, okay. I'm guessing go towards the barn. Oh, I don't want to look at the tractor. I don't want to do anything stupid. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh... I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to? Yes. yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Uh, no wife anymore. No wife. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Um... I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Uh oh. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. I guess that was a bit of a tutorial thing to say. No, you know, you I'll need to... Well, I need to trust. But this doesn't sound very good. Oh no, that's not very good. Duck, what the hell did you do? Oh my god! Uh, I, 
I don't know what I've done here. What do you do? You have the choice between the two people. Like, who, who are you going to save? Like, I probably should have gone for the kid. Having said that, he has been saved anyway. Kenny, you son of a bitch. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. This guy's not going to die right next to him. Oh, he's gone. Jesus. I'm okay, Bob. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost it almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. Uh, I know, son. I... Uh, that guy just had to shoot three zombies that were eating his son. I... Get the fuck out of here! I don't blame him for being really pissy. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. Well, it's a bit of a dick thing to say, but... To help him, but this piece of shit let him die. <sighs> that... It... 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 I... I wasn't strong enough. Sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger, or your friends are cowards. Please. I don't know what you say there. Let's go. Get out and never come back. Like. I couldn't do it. If I was that guy, I'd probably have turned the gun on myself. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. What do you do? You see, you see three zombies, like, going and eating your son. Jesus. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. I'm guessing that's his parents' drugstore. Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Yeah, that ain't friendly. Oh god, that's not friendly. No, don't bite that. I hope that kid's not bitten. Oh my god, I hope that kid's not bitten. Take that. Jesus. That's... We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. <laughs> Wait. Worse. They could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We're not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. Oh, here You'll we go. This is going to be a big help. argument. I'm going to have to or choose between Kenny or her. This is about survival. 
Do you guys not see what's happening? I mean, uh... What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a <sighs> second. Then just go! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be mean. You've got kids, Lily. I didn't mean to be an asshole. I'm sorry, Clementine. Care. Maybe you should go join him then. Uh, You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. Uh... We have to end this now. Over my dead body. Okay, I don't. We'll do a bit of frame skip here. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Kenny, stop it! Well, what do we do about this guy? Uh, Dad, it's uh, just a boy. It, it's. We reason with him. Bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. But nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the oh, fuck I want to be nice to these people, but they're making anything. it so hard. Shut up, Lily. <laughs> they're making and it you so hard. Shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Ooh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. <laughs> Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. Not it is. And we're tossing them out now. Just punch him in the face. No, you don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here. Very late. <laughs> What's going on? Run, 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 Clementine, run. Oh, Jesus. He's such a putz. Lee is such a putz. Where's he? Where is he? Oh, yeah. Get away, are you son of a bitch? Come on. Why is it not going any further in? That's why, because he got shot in the head. Okay. Okay. She's a good shot. Just great, thanks. Uh, guys. Uh, uh, be protected out here, so. Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Uh. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. Uh. We need nitroglycerin pills. 
Please get in there. I don't know I'll whether I really want to help him. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh... You're insane. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Yeah, that's not, I thought that was gonna come in handy, actually. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got Doug. it, boss. Got it. No, now, wait, can he, he come pills. in and just kind of take over? But he has got a pretty good uh, method so far. But anyway, I'm um, going on for a little bit longer this time, so I'm um, probably going to end it here. So like if you've enjoyed, subscribe, do that sort of stuff. I'll see you guys next time. All right, see you.